Okay, good. Uh, let me check on my. Today we're going to practice with the verb to be. Okay, and um, ah, here we are. There's too much light. There we go. Okay, here we go with the audio. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. 
I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Wasn't. I okay, do you have, let me, what, take a look at them and see, for example, remember this is affirmative and negative. Was, wasn't. <clears throat> and uh, the use, right? Was is for I, C, A, T, and A. And you is where, we were, and they were. The negative form, they weren't, we were. Then we have two often in college. And remember, uh, yes, sir, right? I was born is the place, my original. Our original place, the word where I was born. Okay, this is where my uh, where I was alive for the first time. Any questions? Okay, that's good. Okay, just then remember we have for the verb to be was and where. Okay, pero estar, then we're going to use was and were. For the rest of the verb, go, play, see, study, work, say, um, point, speak, listen. All those actions, we use them with, in past tense, we use them with did. Did you go? Did you see? Did you listen? Did you pay? Did you uh, work? Okay, so then you're gonna use for those actions. But never, okay, uh, uh, did you, did you was, or did you are, okay, that doesn't exist. Okay, now in this moment, we're going to do a kind of a activity. We're gonna play a game, right? We're gonna play a game. And in this game, we're going to practice questions in past tense. Yes, no questions, All right? Uh, I'm going to, to change my name, okay? What is my name? My name is, my original name is Luis, okay? But now, I'm going to have a different name. I have it here in a paper. Okay, I have the name here in this paper. And you have to discover my new name. Then, but I, I will say only yes or no. No more. Okay, I won't give you any more information. Okay. For example, you can say, uh, it's a, this person is dead. Okay, the person is dead. It's not alive. Okay? Yes? Yes. Entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Then this person is dead. Okay? Doesn't, then you have to, because you have to ask me questions in past tense, okay? 
for example, were you, or was, you can say was he, was she, okay, were you a man? And then I would say yes or no, were you a woman? And they say yes, okay, it can be a man or a woman. Uh, were you white, were you black, were you yellow, okay, the color of the skin? Uh, ask any question, did you, did you, uh, let's say, did you come to El Salvador? Did you live in El Salvador? Any question, ask them. There's no question. But use, use the logic, okay? Use the logic. Associate the question and the answer. Don't repeat the same question because you will have only 20 opportunities. Okay? 20 questions. Okay, 20 okay. questions. Okay, for que se llama 20 questions. Okay, then, eh, a la 20 no han adivinado, mañana tienen que traer, no, el gluten van a traer pupusas todos. Okay, <laughs> vamos a compartirlas aquí. Okay, okay, good. Ready? Yes. Okay, yes. Eh, let me see. Good. Number one. Who begins? He was a single family. Was was he or was she or were you? Okay, remember, were you? Uh, were you a singer? Famous? Famous singer. Uh, yes, I was. <laughs> the, this person was a woman? Was this person? Was, was this him? person? A woman? A woman? Uh, no, it wasn't. This mm. person, this person sing rock and roll. Was this it? Uh, okay, this person was a singer. Did this person uh. sing rock and roll? Did this person I, sing rock and roll? Repeat. This person sing a rock and roll. Rock and roll and no. <laughs> and no. No. It didn't. No. Okay. Three questions. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Is this person a writer? Was a uh, was a writer? Was this person a writer? Was mm. this person? No, a writer, a book, a book writer. A book writer. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. In what year did he die? Ah, esa ya no es una yes no question. Only yes. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No les puedo decir más que sí, no. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. Okay. Another one. Was this person was a teacher? Was this person a teacher? No. No, it wasn't. Five questions. <laughs> okay, okay. What um what this person is um Actor? Was this person an actor? Mm, yes, it was. Yeah, I was say it was. <laughs> okay. But not many movies, not for movies. Okay. Mm. What this uh, person but... was a soap opera actor? Soap opera actor? No, no, he was. <laughs> Seven questions. Um, this person, what this person bore in? Okay, USB? finally, good. Uh huh. Ah. Was this person born? Born in USA? Yes, he was. 
Sí, que a decir ah. iba que no me habían preguntado ni siquiera que dónde era. Ok, bueno, muy bien. Ok. Eight questions. Was born in USA. What year this person was born? <laughs> no, yes, no question. Yes. <laughs> No era yes, no question. Ah, ya casi caigo, ¿eh? <laughs> okay, good. Hi, Edith, what's your question? This person was born in... Me, ya me preguntaron. In the USA. 19... Ah, okay, ajá. Uh -huh. 1977. 70, ajá. Uh -huh. 1977, wow. <laughs> Probably yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very sure, but I think around that age. Okay. Now, let me see. Seventy-seven. No, I think it was before. It was before. No writer. Mm -hmm. No sing. No actor. Oh yes, singer. Singer, yes. From the United States. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. uh, actor, more or less, in video. Uh -huh. uh, what else? Uh, singer, born in the United States. Okay, so that's the most relevant thing I've asked, right? Mm. Singer, United States. Mm -hmm. And was born in 1977. In the 70s, more or less in the 70s. 70s. Uh -huh, late 70s. 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 70. 70. 70. 70. No, uh, no rock singer, no rock rock. Ah. Okay, you said rock. Okay, no. no rock okay. singer, singer, <laughs> pop singer uh, from the United States, uh, born near the Ahí uh, por los finales de los 60, maybe 70, 60, 70. Ok. Mm. What did what this person die older um, than 50 years? Mm. Did this person die older than 50 years? No. No, he didn't. Mm. Ok. 10 questions. <laughs> Nos yeah. faltan 10, nos faltan 10. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, by an, an, analyze all the, all the information that you have and vean qué más necesitan saber para adivinar, right? Esa es la idea del juego, right? To think in English, analizar lo que ya tengo, la información, and then uh, generate other other questions. This person was, was this pass person? away. Was this person? Sorry, was this person pass away in nineties? In the nineties. Yes. In the nineties, no. No, he didn't. Did this person pass away in the 90s? No. Okay. Mm. Okay. Pregúnteme si estaba casado, si era soltero. ¿Qué color era? What this person eh, was blind? No sé si así se ve. ¿Cómo? Um, uh, 
What is person? Uh, was blind? No, oh, was this person bl blind? Blind, huh? Was this person blind? Ah, uh, uh, blind. No, no, he wasn't. He was. No, he was not blind. He could see very well. Juan, Juan, a question, Juan, question. Juan tiene una pregunta ahí que ya adivinó. <laughs> what this person was um, married? Was this person married? Um, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. He was married what? for some time. Was this person um, black skin? Yes, he was. Yes. Okay. Irija, no bien cerca. ¿Verdad? Y no recuerdo el nombre, pero sí, ni más. No recuerdo exactamente, pero ya, ya estoy buscando. Ya casi, ya casi. Ok. Está en el hard disk. Ajá, José. Question. <coughs> Michael Jackson. No habló en toda la noche, solo para venir a adivinar quién es el libro. <risa> No es justo. Can you see it? Se ve. Yeah. Perfecto. Ah. Okay. No, voy a ver cómo, cómo saco a José de aquí de este grupo. <risa> yes. No, you didn't say anything. Okay. No, no preguntó, pero got it. No, it's good. It was, it was, Analy analyzing the information. Okay, very good. Yes, it was yes. Michael Jackson. Okay, you see, for example, it was a pop singer, black. He was married to Priscilla Presley, right? He was married to Priscilla Presley. But he was in 1978, probably, seven, uh, no, 58, 58, 59, more uh -huh. or less. Yes, it was that 60s, 90s, 70s, 60s, 70s. Porque murió como el 2009, something like that, right? Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, era como de los 60 y algo. Yes. Porque estaba en los Jackson 5, he was in the 70s, y él estaba bien chico, probably, you know, like four, five, like five, six years old. Okay, so then, you may imagine he was black, uh, famous, pop singer. Eh, actuaba en videos, right? But not in actor, in videos, but not in movies. Eh, what else? Black skin. And after kind of white, <laughs> okay? White skin, but um, famous. Famous thing. Okay, but you see, this is one, uh, this is how you can practice the, 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 the past tense form of the verb to be. Okay, now, Jose Lino. Ahora usted se va a cambiar el nombre, va a escoger a una persona famosa que ya no exista, que haya fallecido, y todos le vamos a preguntar. Bueno, yo voy a dar el control de las preguntas. Ok, how many questions. Ok, cuando esté listo nos avisa. Solo escribe el nombre para después. Para que vean que no lo ha cambiado. Esa es su permitencia con el... No, no, es el, 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 el premio. Porque solo tiene que decir, solo tiene que decir. ¿Puedo, no? ¿Puedo regalar mi premio? <risa> eh, quiero, Edith creo que lo quiero, Edith, Edith Iris también. O Adelaida lo puede dar. No sé. Ok, ¿ready? Estoy pensando en algún muerto. 
<risa> ok, think about it. Hay muchos famosos. Sí, yeah, yeah. hay muchos. Okay. Wikipedia y mm. ayuda para que tengan toda la Google it, Google it. <risa> you have to use, have to use uh, Saint Google. Podemos dar ideas en el chat privado, se las podemos mandar a José. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. I got it, I got it. Okay, very good. Okay. Question number one. What this person is men? Was, was this person a man? A man. Oh. Yes. Okay, good. Was this person was born in USA? Okay. Ahora que ya sabemos que es este hombre, podemos decir, was he born in the United States? Was he born in the United States? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes he was. Okay. Good. Vamos más rápido. What this person... No, dijo... He. What What this person was an actor? Was this person, was he an actor? Was, uh -huh. was he an actor? Uh, no, he was. No, he wasn't. Okay, no, he wasn't. Was he a singer? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Or? He was black was he, skin. Was, was he? Was he... Um, Was he was born a uh, black skin? Mm. What is the meaning of black, black skin? Black skin, like uh, Bruce, uh, like uh, I want to say this. Michael Jackson was black. Mike Obama. Tyson, Mike Tyson, Obama. Uh -huh. Black, the color oh, okay. of the skin. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh, Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Okay. Five, five questions, people. Five questions. What is... What this person was a boxeador? Boxing? Was he a boxer? Boxer. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. In what he... Uh, music? Music? Musician, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Was his person was a what his person play play sport play sport? Was he a sport? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Okay. He was a sportsman. Mohamed, ah, no, Mohamed Ali de Nación de Estados Unidos. Sí, yeah. no recuerdo. Yes. José, Mohamed Ali. Was he Mohamed Ali? But he was yes. a boxer. Mm -hmm. uh, José said he, no. he was a, a boxer. Yes. Was he, was he was a basketball player? Yes. <laughs> Was he a basketball player? Okay. Yes, he was. Again. He was a Jordan. Was he Jordan? Michael Jordan? Michael no. Jordan. No. Brian. Uh, yeah. Michael, Jordan. Brian. Michael Jordan is still alive. Michael Jordan is alive. Yes. Michael Jordan. Kobe Brian. Kobe Brian. Yes, Kobe Brian. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes. confused. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, yes, we're confused. Michael Jordan is alive, but Kobe Bryant, yes, he died uh, two years ago. No, one year, right? One year. One year ago. One year. Last year. Okay, good. Okay, you see, ya yeah, pueden jugar a detectives in English, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now you can be detectives and then you can use, for example, a, the idea is not only the, no solo es el juego de la what, 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 sino que es the, the analysis that you think in English, right? La idea es pensar en inglés, ok, um, get the information from, uh, the, the, in this case, uh, José, and then you try to get as much information as possible. Ok, very good. 
Then now uh, we have uh, yes, one. I was wrong. I didn't see your question. What's this person a president? Okay, good. All right. Now, questions about it? No. No. Okay. So then go to go to um the next one, which is the knowledge check. Add the correct form of the verb was, where, was, and wherein to complete the conversation. Okay. So, which is the first one? My family and I was or where? 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 Okay, because we are talking about my family and I, right? So, two. Mm -hmm. Plural. Okay. What about the next? Weren't. We weren't because it's we, right? So we have. Uh, anyway, uh -huh. The next one. Was. It was. Was. Okay. My parents. Wedding born. Have plural. And they were. They were. Uh -huh. And the last one was. In was. South was. Korea, my father was. Because it's only one. Was. That's correct. Okay. This year, we have them all. Okay, so all of that. Okay, eh, eso lo quería ver. Apóstrofe. Ajá, son los tipos. Aquí si en algún momento le salen mal, algunas veces es el tipo de apóstrofe. En mi computadora, por lo general, me, la saca, me los pone malos por el tipo de teclado, maybe, right? And then probably we can use this one. Ah. Uh, in this one. We can probably use up the first. This one, right? The first. Okay. First. Yes. Okay. So okay. You see, uh, this is, but this is a little mistake in the platform. That the apostrophe has to be according to it, one that they require. Okay, but the answers were correct. Okay, good. Now we are clear with was and was. Very good. Okay, um, Carlos, could you please read the next, the next objective here, please? Okay. At the end of the class, you will learn how to ask and answer question with us or be. Additionally, you will also... We have... Additionally, you will also learn how to express year. Years, okay. All right, now we're going to see, well, the questions we already know, but now we are going to see how to express years. In the years. Yes. Okay. Now let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of me. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? 
They were born in Seoul. Years 1906 1917 1999 2001 To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a compliment and a question mark. Born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Next. Okay, so then we already have the idea, right, of a uh, uh, yes, no question. Now probably the extra information we have is using WH words, right? And uh, in the WH words, we can also use what? Uh, where, what else, who, how, when, when. why, uh, what, where, who, how, when, why, uh, let me see how often which which okay these are some questions the wh words or question words that we can use like uh, what city were they born in? Uh, what uh, what bus were they in? Okay, we'll see one, right? What bus? Were they in? Uh, what city were they uh, were they at? In que ciudad estuvieron, right? Where were you born? Uh, where were you this morning? Okay, where were you this morning? Where were you this morning? The question. Who? Who was uh who was in the garden? Okay, who was your teacher in high school? Who was your best teacher in high school? Okay. How 
How was your sister? Si la puede visitar, va a entrar a ver ahí cómo estaba tu hermano. How was your sister? Okay. I went to visit my sister today and they say, hey, how was she? Uh, so, so she's fine. She was fine. And then she went to the hospital and me. When? When were you? Uh, when were you um, sexy born? When were you born? When were you in Mexico? When were you in the United States? When were you in Guatemala? Okay. Why were you? When were you in the park? When were you in the park? Okay. Porque estaba en el parque, right? Here one, how often? How often were, let's say, were you sick? How often were you sick? Right? How often were you sick? In high school, which was your favorite subject? Okay, with it. Which was your favorite subject in high school? Math, geography, history, uh, language. Mm, my favorite subject was English. English, okay, good. And now, it's math. Now, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't like the math. <laughs> okay, good. So then my favorite uh, subject was English, okay? So they say, how often were you sick? Why were you in the park? When were you? So you see, you can use all these questions to get more information, right? More information. And they say, when, when were you born? I was born in 1985. I was born in 1986. That's it. Question? Kind of clear now? Okay, so then uh, we're going to next we need to include the subject you in this case a WH word. Next we need to include the verb to be in the past where after that we need to add the subject you. Finally, we need to add a compliment and a question mark. Born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. Now then you have some questions here, but first let's have a, an oral practice, right? You're just seeing questions with what, where, or when. For example, uh, when is, uh, let's say when was your, let's say, uh, when was your last birthday? When was your uh, last celebration? Where were you born? Okay, ask the question, where were you born? To practice first. Hey, George, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Now, ask the same question to Jose. To who? Jose. 
Jose, what was your born? Where, where was where was your born? Where were you? Where were where were you was born? Born. Where were you born? born. born. Oh, okay. Jose? Okay. I, I was born in San Salvador. <laughs> In San Salvador too. In San Salvador too, you can say that, right? I was born in San Salvador too. In San Salvador too. Okay. Now, Jose, ask the question to Juan. The same question, okay? Where were you born? Juan. Juan, where were you born? I was born in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Para <ahí se> <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. It's good. I was born in Paraguay. Good. Now, uh, Juan, ask the question to Iris. Iris, where, where, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Nice. And it is as Jessica. Jessica. Hello. Yes. Hi. Um, Jessica, why? Oh, you can get what? Where, where were you? Where were you? Born? Uh, where were you? Where were you born? Yes. Where were you born? Where? Mm hmm. Where you born? I, I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Jessica asked the question to Edith. Edith. Yes. Where where were you born? Okay. I was born in Guatemala. Okay, very good. I was born in Guatemala. Okay, good. And then uh, that's why you have a different accent. <laughs> okay, Edith, ask the question to... <laughs> no. No, you're, you sound like Salvadorian. Yeah, but because I was born in Guatemala, but I grew up here. Ah, okay. That's good. That's interesting. Only, only the nationality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Then yes. Edith, Edith, ask the question to Germ. Herman. Herman, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador, correct. Then Herman asked a question to Carlos. Um, hi, Carlos, where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Yes. Good, Carlos. Ask Johanna. Uh, where were you born, Johanna? I was born in La Libertad. I was born in La Libertad. Okay, Johanna, ask the question to Adelaida. Adelaida, where were you born? I was born in Suchitoto. I was born in Suchitoto. That's a nice place. Okay, very good. I was born in Suchitoto. Then Adelaida asked, uh, let me see, George, ask Jorge, where were you born? Where were you born? George, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, so this is the question, right? Where were you born? Now, uh, then the answer is, I was born in. Okay, then the other question is, when? When were you born, right? When were you born? I was born in 1974, 1966. 1980, 1985, okay, when were you born? 
the the year, okay? Just to okay, just to make sure I'm gonna use when were you born? Let me say I was born in nineteen seventy. Okay, and you go like this. Okay. See the question where when were you born? And I was born in nineteen seventy. Ok, alguna pregunta que ustedes hagan, puede ser con when, why, eh, in past tense, right? Why were you? Pueden usar why, who. Traten de crear una pregunta original. Original question. Who was your family? Who was? Who was your family? And then you can say my family was uh, John, Ted, Mary. Okay, and then you can say some names. Okay, who was your family? Okay, good. Another question. Uh, when Mm -hmm. When where you start teach English? When él sería did. Mm. When did you start? Uh, when did you start okay. teaching okay. English? Uh, Nineteen ninety-two. Mm. I started teaching English in nineteen ninety-two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one. Why, 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 why? Why were you? For example, try to use uh, who was your favorite? Uh, uh, who was your favorite? Uh, let's say uh, artist. You know, who was your favorite singer? Who was your favorite actor? Okay, who was your favorite, uh, let's say, uh, actress when you were in high school? Okay, who was your favorite, who was your favorite singer when you were in high school? Now, when I was in high school, my favorite group, for example, it was uh, the Cool and the Gun. Ni lo conocen. Cool and the gang. Okay. That was, yeah, uh, it was similar to Bruno Mars. Okay. okay. Para, oh, okay. It was so very <laughs> 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 sí, sí, porque hemos escuchado a Bruno Mars. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Sí, Por sí. eso lo ubicamos. <laughs> No, es que realmente Bruno Mars, cuando lo, a mí me gusta porque cuando oigo la música de él es muy similar a, a Cool and the Gun. Ok, and then, uh, y cantaba una, eh, Cool and the Gun, si lo buscan así, van a encontrar una canción que se llama Johanna. Ok, and it's a very nice Johanna. This is very nice music. Cool and the Gun. Ok, yo creo que Bruno Mars se parece un poco a Mike. Uh -huh, también. ¿Verdad? Yes, exactly. Es que él viene más o menos de, de los ochentas, por ahí. Eh, sí, agarrado, bailo bastante. Agarrado mucho, también. mucho de, de eso, uh -huh. Bruno. Por eso es que pega bastante. Sí. Incluso en la, en la ropa y todo. Good. La música de los Sadie es muy retro. Good. Ok, por ejemplo, ¿Who was your favorite singer? Then, or group. 
uh, for example, or who was your father's favorite uh, music uh, singer? Who was your father's favorite? For example, in my case, my, who was your mother's favorite uh, singer? It was Pedro Infante, Vicente, okay. Don Chente, right? So that was the favorite music. What else? Or you can say what was, what was your favorite music when you were in high school? What was your favorite clothes when you were in high school? In my case, for example, eran los, los baggy jeans. Unos, así unos uh, jeans así bien flojos. Acampanados. Uh, <laughs> no, no baggy, baggy. I <laughs> no, was not bell, it was not bell. Esos, sí los usé, sí los usé, bell, bell jeans. Okay, but it was more baggy, more baggy style. What else? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest? Yeah, usted, which, which was your favorite clothes in high school? What was your favorite clothes in high school? Okay, for example, let Carlos says, who was your favorite singer in the 70s? Eh, well, ahí tengo varios. Eh, for example, it could be um, eh, Elvis Presley in groups, but eh, the 70s were there were a lot of groups. There were a lot of groups like Tavares, Chicago, Bread, right? So then it was 70s was more for groups. Nice bueno, music, very nice. Music. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, because in the 70s, that's the uh, the, let's say the, the music of those days, and then you have Diana Rose, uh, Donna Summer. Donna Summer. Uh -huh, there was another one, uh, the Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Yes, uh -huh. ya el casi el final de los Beatles too in the seventies. Yes, Aretha Franklin. And Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper, I think is in the eighties. Es más moderna. Ya viene en los ochentas. Yes, Cindy Lauper. Eighties, right. okay. 80s, yes, like Madonna. Madonna is also from the 80s. Yes. Then, what else? Then, it's say, for example, Madonna was a famous singer in the 80s. When you're using, for example, we're talking about past tense. She was in the 80s. Cindy Lauper was also in the 80s. Cool in the Gang was a group in the 80s. Salen Dion. I think Salen, I think, is in the 90s. I'm not sure. Was a mm. after, yes, 80s, 90s, I think it's 90s. For me, it sounds very young, Celine. Celine Dion, yes. Who okay. else? Who else? Uh, what other singers did we have in the past? Or actors, for example, you know, the, you know that the actors, the famous actors in the 70s, 80s were Paul Newman, Clint Eastwood. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Sylvester Stallone. And if you see, for example, in the 80s, in the 70s, it was Clint Eastwood, Paul Newman, uh, what was the, Steve McQueen. Okay, and if you see this, these actors, they were very, very thin. Okay, todos bien delgaditos, right? Then after that, in the 80s, they changed the, the stereotype of the stereotipo de los actores, right? Los, los, los tipos de las películas, then they were, for example, Arnold Schwarzenegger, a lot of muscles, okay? Así como yo, right? And the uh, other one was the uh, Sylvester Stallone, right? Uh, what was the other one? Van Damme. And then uh, what was the other one? Patrick Dempsey, uh, uh, Patrick De Swayze. Patrick Swayze, correct. Uh -huh. Patrick, Patrick Swayze. Patrick Dempsey. Uh -huh. Who? Sí. <laughs> Patrick Muy Swayze. Patrick, no, Patrick Sean Swayze. Connery. Sean Connery. Uh -huh. Then we, we, they were other type, you know, other, like other tipo de, de actores, ya más portachones, right? And then that was the, the style, right? So I'm venido cambiando. Then after that, you know, came many different actors. Uh, Jason Staten, for example. Uh, the guy from, 
Oh, from Fast and Furious. Ah, Fast and Furious, the other one. The, Fast and, the mechanic. Vin, Vin, Dis, uh, Vin Diesel. Uh, Vin Diesel is another one. Okay, so then there is a variety, right? Now they change. Okay, so they were, they were the famous people. But if you see, with this topic, when were, when were you win the cup? When, okay, in that case, uh, it has to be when did, because the verb win is, okay, when did you win the cup? Okay, yes, that's another one. Good. Okay, questions? No? Okay. No. Remember that to, pra to practice uh, some specific uh, uh, structures in English, it's necessary to choose a topic, right? For example, in this moment, we chose the topic of uh, the actors in music, okay? And then you, everything is was and where, was and where. For example, you, know, you can say that uh, Elvis Presley was very famous. He was a great singer. And also he was a great actor. He was an actor, right? Because he had a lot of movies. He had a lot of movies. Then when you talk about actors, you can use all the verbs in past tense. He was a good singer. He was an excellent singer. He was a good actor. He had many movies. Okay, he acted in more than 40 movies, maybe. Okay, and he was uh, very, very funny. He was very funny in his movies. Most of his movies were uh, very, very active. Okay, and most of them were, were like kind of uh, love stories, right? In most of his movies, he had a love story. Okay, people, so then uh, practice the past tense for Monday, okay? Okay, miren, se portaron también que les voy a dar el día de mañana libre. Okay, so <laughs> the Friday, les voy a dar el día de mañana. Esa es una cortesía del profesor, right? <laughs> Thank, <Okay. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. So I will see you on Monday, okay? Monday, remember next week we finish. Eh, si pueden adelantar con el, la plataforma y el examen, and do it, okay? No problem. Y así tenemos más práctica la próxima semana. Okay? So bye-bye. Have a good night. And good see night. you tomorrow. Night. Bye. 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 See you Happy Monday. Monday. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend.